What's going on everyone? This is GWR Studios and today we are going to be finding some more goofs in Thomas and Friends. Today's episode is Trouble in the Shed. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so when the episode starts, we see a bunch of passengers upset at Knapford Station. Sir Topham Hack can hear the angry passengers from his office. And here comes the first goof. If we look closer at these two figurines, we can see Sticky Tack under their feet. The passengers were angry. The station master comes into Sir Topham Hatt's office, and he tells him that there's trouble in the sheds. Henry refuses to leave his shed, and the passengers are furious. This makes Sir Topham Hatt concerned, so he decides to visit the engines at Tidmouth Sheds. When Sir Topham Hatt arrived at the sheds, he could see that the engines were upset. Sir Topham Hatt tells Henry to go pull his train, but Gordon interrupts. We won't shunt like little tank engines. Ever since Thomas left, the engines have been upset because they have to shunt their own coaches. But hang on a second. Both of Gordon's buffers are crooked. As a result, the engines went on strike, and they refused to shunt their own coaches. And here comes the next goof. Right before the narrator starts talking, we can hear his lips smack. We'll see about that. Let's play that again. We'll see about... We'll see about... No engine on my railway is too important for small jobs. So Sir Topham Hatt heads off to find Edward. When Sir Topham Hatt found Edward, he was shunting some trucks. Sir Topham Hatt asked Edward if he would be willing to shunt some coaches. Edward happily agrees and sets off to get the coaches. That's a good engine. Off you go then. Edward gathered all the coaches for Gordon, Henry, and James. And thanks to his hard work, everything was back to normal. Or so they thought. The next day, Sir Topham Hatt checked on Edward to see how things were going. But when he arrived, he looked very upset. And here comes another goof. In this scene, we see Gordon pass by. Notice that by the end of this scene, Gordon is far away from Edward. But in the next scene, Gordon blows steam on Edward. <laughs> Cut that out. This is impossible because Gordon is too far away from Edward. Sir Topham Hatt is shocked with what Gordon did. But Edward tells him that all the engines are treating him bad. They all hiss me, sir. They say tender engines don't shunt. Sir Topham Hatt tells Edward that he's doing a good job and not to worry about the other engines. But there's also a goof in this scene. Look at Sir Topham Hatt's chin. There's four holes in it. Sir Topham Hatt then tells Edward he's going to look for another engine. When Sir Topham Hatt arrives at the engine workshop, there are several engines under sheets. But not all of the engines are new. The engines under the sheets are Gordon, the Marklin engine, James, Henry, and Edward. Now some of you might be wondering, who's the Marklin engine? Well, believe it or not, there was actually an engine on the set of season one that would haul freight cars around. This engine didn't have a face. It was just a black Marklin model train that would be used to make it appear as if there was a lot of action going on. So if you ever see some freight cars passing the screen, but you don't see the engine, it's possible the Marklin engine was pulling them. But anyway, back to the story. So Sir Topham Hatt is at the engine workshop looking for a new engine when he sees a little green engine with four wheels. That's the one, he thought. Sir Topham Hatt asked the engine if he'll be willing to do hard work. Oh, sir. Yes, sir. The little engine was happy, and Sir Topham Hatt gave him a name. I'll call you Percy. Sir Topham Hatt then brought Percy back to the yard. He introduces Edward to Percy and tells him to show him around. And here comes another goof. Percy's doing a good job working with Edward, but watch these buffers when Edward backs up these troublesome trucks. He pushes the buffers out of place. <laughs> But that's not all. There's even more goofs. Right after Percy wishes steam on Henry, we see a close-up of him. But he's in his old shape. But that's not all. Henry isn't even on the track. And the tracks to the right of the screen come to a complete end. That's a total of three goofs in just one scene. Henry jumped and ran back to the shed. As Henry heads back to the shed, notice that the doors are open. Well, in the very next scene, they're closed. I can't w And did you guys hear that whistle? Edward has Thomas's whistle. And look at Percy's left eye. His pupil isn't a perfect circle. Instead, it has these little divots in it. You should hear them in the workshop. The next morning, Sir Topham Hatt sends Thomas to the yard. Sir Topham Hatt tells the other engines that Henry, Gordon, and James refuse to shunt coaches. They say they won't shunt like little tank engines. So Sir Topham Hatt instructs the three engines to take over their jobs. Little tank engines indeed, snorted Thomas. And Sir Topham Hatt allows Percy to help too. Oh, sir. Yes, sir. Edward and Thomas worked on the main line and would greet each other as they passed by. But look at Thomas's brake coach. If we take a closer look, we can see that it's backwards. <laughs> But Thomas's coaches weren't the only ones messed up. As Percy's puffing down the branch line, we can see that Annie is backwards. 
But it just keeps getting better. As soon as Percy goes under the bridge, Annie and Clarabelle are flipped again. And what is this random piece of track doing? It doesn't go anywhere. So thanks to Thomas, Percy, and Edward, things were going a lot better. But Gordon, James, and Henry were miserable in the sheds. And this is where I saw the last goof. Earlier in the episode, the engines were at the right side of the shed. But in this scene, we see that they moved to the left. They wished now they hadn't been so silly. And this marks the end of the episode. Okay guys, so those were all the goofs that I found in Trouble in the Shed. This episode had so many goofs in it. And I can't believe how bad some of them were. Now remember, if you saw a goof that I didn't point out in this episode, please leave a comment below and let me know. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I hope you have a great day.